Today's video is going to be an interesting one. In this box right here, I have not one, not two, not three, but eight, eight iPhones. And they all cost me less than $19 a piece. Actually, they were closer to $18 than $19 a piece. And you may be thinking, well, Jake, what do you need eight iPhones for? Isn't one good enough? Well, yes. But actually, no. In this lot that I ended up purchasing, I saw two phones in particular that really, really caught my eye that were almost an impulse purchase for me. So without further ado, let's get into the box and uh, see what I ended up getting. So let's get into the box real quick. Don't want to waste any time because I am super jazzed for this. Ah, I shipped it as a brick. That doesn't look suspicious at all. Promise this is not cocaine. I, pr I promise this is not cocaine. Anything else in the box? Do we get like a, a note or a letter? No? Okay, cool. So we got a brick of phones. Something you don't see every day. So uh, let's cut into it. All right, we are in. So I'm going to stuff these back in the thing and not show you. So I want to save the best for last. So we're going to start out with this. This is an iPhone 4 that has seen better days. The back has popped off, missing a SIM tray. The glass is shattered up top. Uh, do I dare power it on? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think I'd get life out of it. But I do believe it works. I do believe the listing said it worked. Get rid of 700 feet of plastic wrap and I can go get a 30 pin cable and a battery to try and charge this thing. Cables and batteries have been acquired. Let's plug her in, see if we get any life. Nothing, all right. We'll just put her off to the side, let her charge a little bit, and uh, see if she comes around. Next up is an iPhone 5S, silver. I don't know the storage capacity, but I do know that it has a space gray SIM tray. So that's cool, I guess. This, uh, if it does turn on, is not tied to an iCloud account or if it is find my is not on which is good that means i can actually use this phone for projects or literally whatever i want actually springs right into life all right all right battery flat okay so she's charging as well so next up is the newest phone in this lot this is an iphone se first gen it is icloud locked or icloud attached at best this is good for parts be it for me or for someone else haven't figured that out yet. And no signs of life. All right, next up is another iPhone 4. This one was not reassembled properly. The back glass is, does this, is it actually just gonna straight up come out? Yeah, okay. So yeah, the uh, it was not reassembled correctly. If I had my tools on me, I would try to fix that right now, uh, but I don't. Does she have life? Not immediately, but if we, Plug her in, give her a couple minutes. Hopefully she comes around because I do have some plans for her if she decides to live. I had no way of checking iCloud on this because they don't print the IMEIs on the back of these, they print them on the SIM trays. So that's something I actually learned today. Push her to the side as well. Next up, we got a pretty okay condition iPhone 3GS. Not super great, but not terrible. We give her the old power button push. We get nothing. Give her a little bit of juice, see what she does. Fires right up. It does appear to be something in the 30 pin port because the connector is not sitting flush. It's actually on an angle. So this side is in all the way, but this side is not. Assuming battery flat. Yep, battery flat. Okay, next on the list is a pretty rough condition white 16 gig iPhone 3GS. She's a little not white anymore. <laughs> Does she live? Not immediately. Okay, well that's that's par for the course. What if we give her juice? Springs right back to life. All right, I'm assuming this one's gonna be battery. F nope, yep, there you go. Ooh, that screen didn't look too good for a second. And now for the last two phones. These are the reason I purchased this lot. These phones were the impulse buy for me. And they are both original iPhones. These are iPhone 2Gs. I have a four and a 16 gig, and they are both in pretty good condition. The screens are in fact uh, shattered on both of them, but around the back, they're actually not bad. Like they're not pristine by any stretch of the word, 
but they're not bad for 15 year old phones. And with a little bit of TLC, I feel like they could, could really clean up well. And I do believe that they turn on and work and everything's all hunky-dory. I have in fact run out of 30 pin cables. So what we can do is we can just steal it from other ones. Try the first one. Battery flat, but it does turn on-ish, uh, which is good. It's a good first step. And then we'll steal it from this guy. Plug her in, give her juice, battery flat. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the cameras and I'm going to let these all uh, juice up and, and see what I can do with all of them. And we'll come back and I'll give you a little bit of a synopsis of what I managed to pull out of this lot. Okay, different day, same sweatshirt because it is still very cold. Alrighty, what did we learn? I let them all charge up, tried to get them to come to life with some mixed results. Immediately after I stopped recording the last clip, we got the two iPhone 2Gs to boot up. Now, the 16 gig model boots up to iOS, oh, uh, excuse me, iPhone OS 3.1.2, but it boots up, battery holds a charge. I've been playing around with it, playing some flick bowling on it. Pretty good, especially for a 15 year old phone. The four gig, on the other hand, is a little more interesting. Boots up, holds a charge, does pretty damn well for its age, except it's running iPhone OS 2.1. Yeah, remember that SMS icon? iMessage wasn't real yet. And upon further inspection, the display has a bit of like a glitter thing going on. I don't, I'm gonna try and put some P-roll of it here, but I don't know if it's gonna pick up. Um, hopefully that'll go away when I replace the screen. Uh, I already have a couple displays lined up to replace these with. But with the 2Gs, the, the reason that I bought this lot, I am super, super impressed. Next to the 3GS phones, or the 3G, because it turns out the black one that I thought was a 3GS was actually a 3G. Um, which is cool, because I don't, I don't have a 3G. Well, I mean, I do now, but I didn't have a 3G in my collection before this. She's, um not doing so well. I've managed to get it to turn on, but it doesn't boot. It's uh, It gets caught in this boot loop where it says, you know, it doesn't have enough battery to start, and then the Apple logo comes up, and then the display drops to like 1% brightness. It dies, and then it tries to start up again. And as long as it's plugged into a charger, it will continue to do this, as it did all night last night. 3G, works-ish. Does, doesn't actually work, but like has potential. I'm sure it's a battery problem. So I've, I've got a battery in my, uh, in my cart to hopefully get in here and replace it. If not, uh, I already have something a little, uh, a little more artistic lined up for this guy. So functionality to be determined. Next up, the 3GS. 3GS is uh, in working condition, works fine, doesn't look too good. You know, screen screen's fine-ish, couple scratches. It, it is a 13-year-old phone, so it, I mean, I'm not too bent out of shape. But the back, though, even 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 on a cam right here, that's, that's not that's not good, especially when I have this one next to it. Ooh. Look at look at that. As far as functionality goes, works fine. It's uh, running iOS 5.1.1. It's not attached to an iCloud or anything. Uh, none of them have been up until this point, except for maybe the 3G. I, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't want to turn on. Super pumped about this one. It's a 16 gig white. I think I might customize this one a little bit. Do stay tuned to the channel because I do have a video where I uh, make my own custom 5S. Be sure to come back for that one. Alrighty, next up are the iPhone 4s. One of them works perfectly fine. It is attached to an iCloud, which kind of blows, but it's whatever, it runs, works fine, um, except for the, the, home, the home button doesn't, doesn't work. Uh, aside from the iCloud lock and the home button not working, I'm pretty impressed with this one. And then the second iPhone 4, the one that has the, uh, the shattered screen, actually works. You wouldn't know, by me holding it and doing it like this, but occasionally, if I swipe on the right spot and press on the right spot, I can get like a passcode click. So it is passcode locked, I would imagine. It's also tied to an iCloud if it's passcode locked, but uh, I'm gonna chalk this one up under the same category as the 3G functionality maybe. Second to last phone on the list, got the iPhone 5S that I was told was not iCloud locked and 
It's not, but uh, it is iCloud attached. It does have previous owners iCloud on this. Screen is broken, but Touch ID still does in fact work. It's running iOS 934. So uh, I think I'm gonna keep it on this software. But iPhone 5S, little disappointed because I, when I ran the IMEI, it said it wasn't attached to an iCloud, but overall pretty impressed. And then finally we have the iPhone SE. So when I ran the IMEI on this, it told me it was iCloud locked, which it is, but not quite. So it is, it is linked to an iCloud account. It's the same iCloud as the 5S here. It's running iOS 11.4.1. I've been messing around with this one a lot in particular, and God damn it was iOS 11 super buggy. <laughs> it's so, oh man, oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I, I, I never really realized back in the day how buggy iOS 11 was, but man, just spending a day and a half with this thing is brutal. Touch ID does not work. Uh, when I go to set it up, it says it fails. But yeah, even on the home screen, like the icons are not centered. Like these are not centered. Again, I think I'm going to keep it on this software. Um, I do have plans to contact the previous owner and, you know, be like, hey, can you help me out a little bit? I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, hope Hopefully it goes pretty well. And again, in total, averaged out between all eight of these phones, I spent like $18.25 a piece. That's a deal that you could offer me this again, and I'll still jump on it. And yes, I know I have a problem. I collect phones. I'm self-aware, which means I'm a little better than the people who deny it. So what do you guys think? Would you, would you, you know, take a shot on a lot like this? Maybe a little cheaper, you know, two phones or something like that. Cause I know $150 is a lot to throw at eight old phones that may and may not work. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys would do something similar to this, or if you have done something similar to this. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, tell your friends, you know, send them to the channel, see what they, see what they think about it. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.